What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Chicago White Sox versus Boston Red Sox. Major League Baseball matchup going down Saturday, June 8th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam season pass. This is for the betters that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season. But what it's going to get you access to is the weighting and rating of my plays for the first time. You're going to know where my biggest bets on the board are. It's also going to get you access to my nerfies and nerfies and my first five plays, as well as plays I make throughout the day based on things like line moves, money moves, pitching changes, and lineup changes. So if that sounds like something you're interested in and that's the kind of bankroll that you're working with, call 775-636-7674. We'll get you some more information. But let's get to this one. Between the Chicago White Sox and the Boston Red Sox, the Chicago White Sox sending out Nick Nestrini for the start here, while the Boston Red Sox will counter with Brian Bayo. And while Nestrini had a better start than some of his recent outings, he still struggled, and the the Red, excuse me, the White Sox still took the loss in that one. I uh, gave up four runs on three hits, gave up a home run with three walks over four innings of work to the Brewers. Now Nestrini 0-5 in five starts, a 9.74 ERA. Did improve it from the 9.95 ERA. He had going into that start against Milwaukee, but still a real, real eye sort of to look at for for uh, for uh, for Nick Destrini, and you know it's just been getting worse and worse. And then we'll have to see if the, if the White Sox can bounce back on Friday, but you know it's going to be tough here against Brian Bayo. You know Bayo, yes, Brian Bayo has struggled in some of his recent starts. You know, but you got kind of got to take it with a grain of salt and look at the competition he's played over the last four starts, where Bayo, you know, has given up at least three runs over each of those last four starts. And when you look at, like I said, the ERA over those four outings, yeah, you know, it, it ballooned his ERA from 3.13 before going into that start to uh, the uh, the 4.36 ERA that he has now. And it was an ERA over six over those four starts. But here's the thing. You know, he played the St. Louis Cardinals on the road when the Cardinals were heating up offensively. Played the Tampa Bay Rays at the Trop, which is never easy. But the, uh, the, 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 uh, the Red Sox still went on to win that game. The Baltimore Orioles, who are starting to heat up against righties themselves, and the and the uh, the, the Red Sox won that game as well, and then a loss to, against the uh, sorry a team loss against the uh, Detroit Tigers, who have been smacking the crap out of right-handed pitching as of late, gave up four runs in that start, but it was the bullpen that let it get away on them. So I don't necessarily hold that against uh, hold that against Brian Bayo, and you know the thing is is that Nick Nestrini. He's put his team behind the eight ball, and the Chicago White Sox just don't have the offense to be able to come back from a starter giving up that kind of damage. I mean, the last two weeks against right-handed pitching, the Chicago White Sox, second worst in baseball in terms of batting average, you know, team OPS, they're, they're you know, 28th. Isolated power, the numbers get a little bit better. They get to, to 18th, but they're still well below league average. And I just think this is a spot where the Boston Red Sox just tee off on Nestrini here and get themselves a win and, and a win on the run line as well, a convincing victory at that. So give me the Boston Red Sox in this one on the run line, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.